Good morning, folks. We'll start with sprites. Toss an elf in there, and I'm not talking soda in Sanders workshop. Terrestrial gamma flashes are gamma signatures high above lightning. NASA's Firefly satellite is designed to monitor and evaluate those. If you Google suspicious observers and sprites, you'll see a couple good news videos with some excellent footage and links. Other great article today involves deep space radiation. The impetus was obviously the potential for human survival on longer space trips like those to Mars and beyond. This will also aid in detailing the levels of radiation exposed at airline passenger levels to a degree much better than we've had before. Top weather stories on Earth today include a tropical cyclone developing in the Bay of Bengal, heading due west. Also, Melissa has formed in the Atlantic, a very curious late year development at that location. We also have deadly flooding at Sardinia. That's the same low that's been spinning and bouncing around the Mediterranean for a few days. Looks to be stalled again. Looking at the solar wind telemetry from the ACE satellite, slight rise in orange, the density, is part of a quiet sun equilibrium back and forth at low levels with both speed in yellow and plasma temperature in green decreasing slightly. KP index rightfully shows no geomagnetic disturbance, the electron flux has regained a nice curve. After sunspot numbers in the 200s a few days ago, we were on our way back to full quiet, but this morning an X1 ripped out of the departing group on the western limb updates to come on that one. But let's discuss 1899 and show a good reason why our communities may be forever doomed to obscurity. Someone sent me this yesterday, a Yahoo question asking if 1899 was the biggest and most dangerous sunspot ever, because suspicious observers had said so. If anyone here thinks they heard me say either of those things, you need to listen a little better. Every word about the sun recently has been about it being quiet, in solar magnetic shutdown. And as for 1899, the comments are about the tremendous bipolarity point at the central cone, showing the helicity, or vortex of the spot like we've never seen before. But this fool said the craziest thing imaginable, about danger and hugitude and set off an entire page of YouTube and SO bashing, but from people who obviously didn't even come check the claims, just decided to say terrible things taking that first moron's word for something. I've linked this below if anyone wants to go lay some knowledge on those fools. Definitively, the sunspot. Nothing we've seen like that before. The level of beta meshing in the center has been speculated, but never witnessed like this. And, since I suppose I need to say things like this now, none of that makes the sunspot dangerous. Now, while the sunspots are turning, decaying, and, up until this morning, we're very, very quiet, we're also watching the return of multiple plasma filaments on the disk. Those dark lines here are billions of tons of plasma and a magnetic rope floating above the solar surface, held in place magnetically. When they erupt, they can produce some sizable CMEs. Got some other shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.40 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.